the next evolution in the wellness and movement industry. Hi, my name is Brian Schwager. If you've been following me on my YouTube channel, happen to watch a couple of videos I put out recently on my Facebook page. These were just snippets of information based on the article that I'm launching, the three-part article I'm launching with videos. This video clip here will serve as the foundation of my background so that everybody understands what brought me to this point to even writing such an article. Now I've traversed through this industry for almost 40 years. I worked in strength and conditioning areas with professional athletes. I've worked in clinical settings with physical therapists, orthopedics, acupuncturists, athletic trainers, massage therapists. I've worked in wellness facilities with meditation teachers where, where we taught Tai Chi, Qigong, and we use naturopathic medicine. I've worked in chronic pain settings with medical doctors who also used holistic principles. And then I also ran multiple businesses throughout the 90s into the 21st century. All with a focus to empowering people to take control of their health and well being. I've written hundreds of articles presented all over the United States. I've presented in Boston, Native, uh, Massachusetts, uh, Denver, Colorado, Cincinnati, Asheville, Florida, Naples, Florida, uh, Chicago, Rockford and all over Milwaukee and Asheville. Milwaukee is where I'm from. Hundreds of presentations on topics ranging from the immune system to why we get sick, to why we should be assessing movement and looking at movement patterns and not just individual muscles, to mind-body approaches to fitness, et cetera, et cetera. Working next to some of the best in the field in physical therapy working eight years with a uh, advanced level chiropractor who was a functional neurologist and a functional medicine doctor. Working with a whole array of people. Again, I've worked with professional athletes. I've worked in, uh, with people that, had, uh, that were in need of post-exercise rehab. I've worked in rehab and done hundreds of hours of corrective exercise with clients who have had spinal pathologies, head injuries, knee injuries, hip replacements, knee replacements, and then ran all my own services in between. My background, as you can hear, it's very diverse, and I've always thought outside the box, never, never confined to one method, searching, going to workshops, talking to other professionals about other systems, methods, and concepts that help their patients or clients. Embracing a holistic approach, defining holistic with a W so that we're looking at mind, body, and spirit, and also defining holistic with an H, using holistic treatments like naturopath, naturopathic doctors, Ayurvedic medicine, Chinese medicine, Etc. And even holistic exercise principles like yoga, tai chi, qigong, Feldenkrais, Alexander techniques, creating my own mindful movement exercises, traversing into the area of assessing, looking at lifestyle. But what, what prompted all of this was seeing a population decline watching my parents' health decline very rapidly and having a lot of questions not answered. Looking at my own health crises as I was a former semi-professional athlete and high-performance athlete and wanting them answers. So I went back to school after dropping out of high school in ninth grade making my way back to get my GED, getting accepted into the university, 
and start understanding the science of exercise. But that wasn't enough. Working in these various settings, after I got, well, while I was in college, as one example, I worked for a sports medicine center in Milwaukee. They're no longer in business. They're called competitive edge sports medicine. And that was the first place where I was exposed to working next to an acupuncturist, physical therapist, an athletic trainer, massage therapist, orthopedic doctor, orthopedic surgeons, and myself on the floor. I was an exercise specialist also as a personal trainer because they had a side service for personal training. I never worked next to an acupuncturist before. And I began to understand the importance of clearing meridians when we were restoring shoulder injuries or knee problems or back problems. And I was learning a ton from the physical therapists and the athletic trainers because I was providing exercise rehab. You didn't have to have a certification back then. You just had to have the knowledge. And God gifted me with some unbelievable knowledge I didn't get that from college. College was a way for me to organize my knowledge. This stuff was just coming through me. I was writing exercise programs well before I was in college. In fact, my first professional athlete, I was aged like, I forget, 20 or 21. I was working with a professional kickboxer, designing his strength and conditioning programs, training with him. And then later on, I got um, a power lift and then a triathlete, then a world-class ballroom dancer. And then I went into college and learned science, but I just had this, this knowledge. And I had this gift to knowing that there was more to it than meet the eye, that there's a mind-body connection. Again, going back to the word holistic with a W, that's mind, body, and spirit. I encapsulated that studying martial arts for 16 years. I just didn't realize that I was encapsulating that. And I carried that over into my practices in the 90s. In fact, my very first business, when I went on on my own as a personal trainer, after working at elite athletic clubs and working out of the home and working in various clinical settings, was called the Mind Body Connection after reading the book ageless body timeless mind by deepak chopra where he mentions the mind body connection in there and after meeting with deepak after going to one of his workshops his lectures i really began to see that this was the future we were moving into that even though i was five years ahead of my time in milwaukee wisconsin where i was from there were no personal trainers that were embracing this like I was, because I wanted to do it authentically. So having my own business, I then used Competitive Edge as part of my referral outsource team. And then I hooked up with other acupuncturists, naturopathic doctors. I hooked up with a psychoneuroimmunologist and began to understand that the immune system is a circulating nervous system. Because my clients in the 90s, they were the ones that had these challenges that I'm going to talk about in this three-part series in this article. They had the risk factors to cardiovascular disease that they wanted to avoid like their parents, like myself. They had the risk factors for cancer, and some of them had cancer. They had lupus, fibromyalgia. Not all my clients did, but a lot more were showing up with it throughout the 90s. I needed to understand what my role was as a trainer. I didn't want to make it worse. I had to begin to understand how does exercise play a role in all this? Exercise is like a medicine. So as the 90s went by and I went to as many workshops as I could, my, again, going back to my network I was building, I had a variety of different massage therapists, all kinds of body workers, myofascial therapists, neuromuscular technique, Reiki practitioners, yes, energy work, Qigong, Tai Chi, yoga, looking at Feldenkrais methods, developing again my own mind body or my own mindful movement concepts later in the 21st century. But I said to myself, I got to go back to school. 
Because the other thing I wanted to learn more about was how the body works as a unit. It works as a whole and not just some of its parts. The whole isolationist approach was fading. You know, in fitness, we were taught to isolate exercises and it was all based off of a bodybuilding format. That's really where fitness started was with bodybuilders. Yeah, there were a small handful of fitness enthusiasts that looked like gymnasts. They looked functional, but they were only a small handful. The majority of what we were doing in the clubs was based off a of bodybuilding mentality. It's all isolating muscle groups. And that was no way to train. That's not how I trained my athletes, especially my kickboxer. And when restoring the body, we had to understand that all of these parts of the body, when I'm working with an acupuncturist, I'm, more, I'm understanding what meridians do and how they cross the circulatory system and the muscular system. And they affect those systems. I was beginning to understand that the nervous system was affecting, or a faulty nervous system, was affecting muscular and movement because muscles and bones, that's how they operate is from the nervous system. When the nervous system wasn't operating correctly, we get movement impairment or movement dysfunction. I was exploring other avenues. I didn't want to do, I didn't want to go to school and get stuck in a paradigm that was old, that was reductionist, that was isolation. I wanted to move into the next realm. I wanted to stay ahead of the curve. And that's when I found the Czech Institute and I became a Czech licensed professional. And Czech stands for Corrective Holistic High Performance Exercise Kinesiology, Integrated Movement Science, Holistic Lifestyle Coaching. And, I, and then I diverse myself into other areas of movement systems, assessing, restoring movement patterns. I later moved so that I could go back to school, but I couldn't run a business. By the end of the nineties, I was up to my, I was in my, I think it was my fifth business. I was, my businesses were, were evolving because the population was evolving. They were getting sicker. Their orthopedic problems were getting worse. So I modified the business to serve the population. I went from the mind body connection, which was always my base. And then I went into lifestyle, a life enhancement company. And then I went into the cellular area. We'll call it the Institute of Cellular Health and Fitness, looking at enhancing every cell in the body, but it wasn't enough. But what I learned at the Czech Institute was revolutionary and evolution, but I needed a job to supplement my income. I wasn't going to run a business. So I relocated to North Carolina and worked with a friend of mine I went to undergraduate school with, who was the chiropractor and the functional neurologist and the functional nutritionist. And I was the director of corrective exercise. And for eight years, that was my litmus test as I was in school. I'm still enrolled at the Czech Institute. And what I was learning between the Czech Institute and studying through functional movement systems and taking workshops from practitioners at the Biokinetics Institute on postural restoration and a host of other workshops that the doctor would send me to, I began to change how I was training people all together. Now in the clinic, my role was to stabilize the spine for spinal problems. People had herniated discs, they had knee problems, they had all kinds of spinal instability, cervical challenges. We work with people that had head injuries, and concussions. But I found out that everything was interconnected to the nervous system and the body as a whole, which you're gonna learn. So the litmus test was me using what I was learning from these various from my school and from these various workshops in applying it. Because to me, it's got to work in the real world. You can have all the plaques you want, the degrees and know all the knowledge, but if it doesn't carry over, then all it is is just, to me, it's nothing. And it was working. 
and I was getting more results, more results. The doctor and I were getting more results. Then I got the bug again to open up another business. And nobody was doing assessments as trainers. Not really, not where I was living in Asheville. And the next evolution at that time was functional movement, functional training, core training. That was the next evolution. Moving out of the 90s, out of the 20th century into the 21st century. So there I was after eight years working clinical, I went down to part-time, opened up my own service and started my real litmus test and then built another team around me down there. And the first person on that team was the chiropractor I was working for. And we had some very tough cases together and we were resolving it, but not just with movement. We had to look at everything. And the one thing that we were restoring was the nervous system and the brain, because the brain to me is the CPU. The muscles and bones are dumb. And we have systems in the brain that operate the body. And when those systems are impaired, we get dysfunction. We get unusual tightness, which leads to instabilities, which leads to weakness and injury. And then we were looking at things like nutrition differently than I did in the 90s. Now in the 90s, I was already exploring detox and purification, no doubt, even on my own body. But with the functional medicine doctor that he was, and things I was learning at the Czech Institute, now we were identifying fungal parasite problems in the gut, which were causing problems with the brain, which were causing problems with movement. Yes, you're gonna learn all of this coming up. Now, meanwhile, as I'm going from the 90s into the 20th century into the 21st century, I'm writing articles. The more new information I learned, especially about the immune system, about disease, about cancer, about cardiovascular disease, the sooner I was out there teaching it. I was doing workshops, presentations, seminars, wherever I could. I flew and people, I, people needed to know the truth. They needed to know that these conditions that we were facing and we're still facing, there were different answers that were not being presented. Again, thinking outside the box, going down the road less traveled. So when I was in Asheville and opening up my first place, the Functional Movement Center, I was looking at movement as patterns. <clears throat> I was assessing people's lifestyle. I was looking at their emotional stress level and rating it, their sleep, what they were eating, when they were eating, what they were drinking, how they were moving. And this was providing a great deal of answers for me. People were coming to me with mysteries, unresolved challenges, which I love, I love a mystery. You know, Hippocrates was real big on <clears throat> using the Socratic way of teaching, which is the question is the answer. So by asking, certain kinds of questions to my clients, especially when it came to their health history, I was starting to discover what was being missed in their lifestyle. So fast forward, writing more articles. The stats kept going up though. It didn't make any sense. And that's what you know, brought me to where I am today. I relocated to Florida, and still seeing these statistics grow. And then we had the pandemic and boy, everything changed. I don't have to tell you that. And I'll have some surprising information relating to that and what we are facing going forward. And our whole industry has to adapt to this. And they're still struggling to adapt to what, how we're gonna work with this population of people. Not me though, I understand what's going on. I ended up listening to virologists and microbiologists and other physicians that were speaking out. Again, thinking outside the box, not being trapped. What we were doing wasn't working in the 19th century, in the 20th century. Because if it was, the statistics would have went down rather than go up. 
and I'll be presenting all this to you. So then I was compelled about a month ago. I'm like, I got to write another article. I got to really, I got to tie in this pandemic. I got to tie in the next evolution because we're moving into energy and frequency. I don't know, a lot of you might already know that. But that's the next stage. And really, below all the cells and the dirty environment that we were cleaning up in the 20th century through purification and detoxification programs, and in the 21st century, below all of that is just vibration. You know, you're going to learn all this. We're moving into the next evolution. But I want to set one story straight. I'm not watering this down. This is not a trend. This is not just a marketing technique to help me bring in more clients. I don't need any of that. What, what my customers were looking for were answers. They were coming to me with five, 10, 15 years plus of on and off problems with on and off wellness and movement challenges, seeing doctors and therapists and going and, and hiring trainers and going to yoga. And they were, they were doing all of these things and some of them were helping temporarily, but number one, the right hand didn't know what the left hand was doing. That was already a challenge. And number two, if they're not coordinating the effect, how are you going to restore a body that's designed to integrate with one another? If I didn't integrate or communicate with the chiropractor I was working for, the acupuncturist that I was referring to, or the physical therapist or the massage therapist, if they didn't understand what I was doing and I wasn't understanding what they were doing, all I was going to do is undo their work and make it worse because I saw plenty of clients as patients, I should say, when I work clinically, that had tried these approaches. These practitioners that they were seeing were not coordinating their work. And I don't know about you, but again, I go back to that term, if the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing, we only get temporary results. So that's the premise of this video. It's going to open up the door to part one. Part one, we are going to look at, we're going to, we're going to look at the current statistics and I'm going to show you that we, it hasn't gotten any better and I have answers. And these aren't my ways. Yes, I observed this. I had litmus tests. I have practical experience, but I listened to a lot of people worldwide that were getting results and I wanted to know how and why they were getting results. I want to provide you with hope. The wellness and movement, my wellness and movement services motto is feel well and move well. But if you're not feeling well, you're not moving well. And I know people want to move more and we should, we should be moving. But if you're not moving well, then you shouldn't be moving. Anymore. So you look at those three things, feel well, move well, move more. And then you look at the stats, what's missing? I'm going to fill the gap. So stay tuned. This is going to be an exciting journey. Share this information. And again, these are things that I've tested, read about, researched, talked to many, many pra practitioners, and I'm still talking and listening to this day. In fact, right now I'm going down a deep rabbit hole when it comes into this whole electromagnetic disturbance that's affecting our cellular body, our electrical body, because yes, we are an electrical body. I'm learning some really interesting stuff that I've never seen before in my 40 years doing this. As you can tell, I'm very passionate about this. All right. So that's the message. This now that sets the stage. Everybody now knows what you know gives me this kind of authority to start this three-part series and this article. I look forward to seeing you in part one. If you have any questions, you know how to contact me. All the contact information is at the end of this video. 
I hope you have an empowering day. I hope this information empowers you. Don't be discouraged by the stats or by what I'm saying. Be encouraged by it. Know that that which is being presented to you as an obstacle is actually an opportunity in disguise. I'm Brian Schwab. Have a great day. Bye for now.